So now the time to beat here in the second section, 920.34. But here's the star, Caitlin Tui. I got to watch her set the collegiate record in the 3000, the time we showed you before. That was a couple weeks back. She's in great shape. She also has the collegiate record time in the mile. She ran, of course, the, a fantastic DMR anchor on Thursday evening, first day of the meet, in 4.23.30, better than her collegiate record in the mile. She's on fire. Now, as Norm was talking, let's just talk some of the accolades for some of these runners. Caitlin Tui is where you start. She entered these ACC indoors, holding the NCAA records in the mile with 3,000. Also has the NCAA record in the 1,500 meters. She also has the nation's top time in the 5,000. Just an incredible run in this year alone. She's won the ACC 1,500, the NCAA 5,000 outdoor, and she's taken home both the ACC and the NCAA cross-country championship. And that is Tui right now, just in the middle of the pack. Her teammate Savannah Shaw is actually going to jump out to the early lead. Shaw, the graduate student, running in her fourth indoor championship, the two-time All-American in the 5,000 meters outdoors. To illustrate Tui's overall dominance in this event, if you look at the top 10 collegiate marks of all time, there's Tui at 835.20. The next fastest ever, Schweitzer, ran from Missouri back in the day, 841.60. She's six seconds better than anybody. That's a huge gap in an event like the 3,000. Early stages here in the women's 3,000. Keep in mind, there's three events left to be scored on the women's side, so let's go to the field events. One of those events still to be determined. On the shot put, whole second flight still to come, where all the good Virginia Tech throwers are. Tui in second right now, running very relaxed behind Hassebrook of uh, Virginia Tech. And now moving into second is a Florida State athlete. Ava Hassebrock up near the front. She, too, like Matug of Duke, has been very, very busy trying to score some points. Keep in mind, Virginia Tech and Duke both tied with 83, both with some threats in this 3,000 to score some valuable team points. Siona Chisholm of Notre Dame in second. She's the sophomore. She's run, only run 904.48. Here comes Tui in the second. She's not going to wait too long. She can take this thing under her control just about any time. Churchill is our leader right now. Churchill from Florida State. She's a junior. She's run 901.25. Again, Tui's run 835, so she's well within herself here. But you kind of feel like after not being able to pull off the win in the distance medley, the only time she's lost any race all season, she's going to be extra motivated to uh, put a cherry on top of the pie here. Oh, oh. Now on the outside you see Brown of UNC sticking her nose into this lead pack as well. The opening uh, thousand was 302.8. That's 908 pace. So we're all within the range of these runners. This is a tactical affair so far. A couple of fighting Irish runners in the mix. Olivia Markazic, the Runner from Washington, the Pacific Northwest, the Bear Creek School. She is coming off a real good ACC cross country season. She plays third at Panorama Farms this past fall. She is up there for Notre Dame along with her teammate Aaron Streslecki, the sophomore. Streslecki competing for Notre Dame, the sophomore from Fort Wayne. She too excelled in the cross country arena this past fall, a two time NCAA cross country qualifier. Margot Appleton of Virginia now in the top four. She's run 904 in this event, one of Vinnie Lanana's top recruits a year ago. She's in her sophomore year for the Cavaliers. So Churchill, Tui, Appleton, their early leaders, along with the two girls from the Notre Dame. 1,600 meters remaining here in the 3,000. Allison Churchill has been the leader pretty much from the get-go. Tui very comfortably sitting second. We talked about the two runners from Notre Dame with Streslecki and Markazic. Virginia in the conversation as well with their talented sophomore in Appleton.
And now, tucking into about sixth place is Anima Matug, the Duke workhorse. She's up on Hassel. She's up on uh, our Virginia Tech runner, Hassel Brook, Brock. And uh, that is, you know, a direct point showdown between Virginia Tech and Duke. As we saw before, they're dead even going into the event. They'd love to see Matug do some damage. Now, Matug has run a very quick 3K herself, even though she's primarily a half miler. Matui running just looked like she's just running to win, hanging off the shoulder of, of the lead. And now she looks like she's going to take the lead for the first time. Caitlin Tui, the superstar from NC State University. You take a look at what Tui has done this year. On January 28th, the Dr. Sander invite New York City in front of family and friends. Keep in mind, Tui is a New York native, grew up in Stony Point. She recorded the NCAA record in the mile with a 424-26. And then on February 11th, New York City once again. The Big Apple has treated her well. An NCAA leading 3,000 meter time with 8.35.20. Beat the old mark by six seconds. That's how dominant it was. And Tui is pulling away in a fashion that only Caitlin Tui can do. Yes, I had the pleasure of watching both those races in person. And she just continues to show her dominance. That's why it seems so unusual, almost unnatural for us to see her even though it was a relay like that she made up ground on everybody to see her not win a race because she is the collegiate women's distance runner. Now, Tui's last two laps added up to 70.7. She ran 36.3 and then dropped it down to 34.4. So she's clearly, clearly picking it up each, each and every lap from here on in. When she comes to the main finish line, she'll have four laps to go. She's coming out to the final 800 meters. She'll have 600 to go. You know, we both had a chance to talk with Tui's head coach, Lori Hennis, what a job she has done with North Carolina State. And we asked her, you know, when you have so many accomplishments like Tui has enjoyed, you're talking the outdoor championship, the ACC indoor in the 5,000 last year, the cross country success. What one has been most special for her? And, and Coach Hennis said, the team cross country title is one that she described as more surreal than any of her individual titles and that's what Hennis has really built in Raleigh with the team aspect yes she has she's done a great job bring, building a team culture but Tui is the superstar don't make, make no mistake about it 66 9 for the last 400 and now she's got about 300 meters to go She's not going to run a, her collegiate record tonight, but she's going to be a dominating winner here and get 10 points for the Wolfpack. One lap to go here at the bell. The bell sounds, and for fans of track and field, you just kind of sit back, watch, and enjoy a generational talent for North Carolina State. The back straightaway, Caitlin Tui. She's getting the standing O from the crowd that she deserves. Rightfully so, as she gets ready to make her encore, the final meters into the straightaway. Everybody coming to their feet. An elite runner, Caitlin Tui, adds another ACC title, 851-92. Incredible. The that battle for two, huge. Eight points for Duke right there. That's going to put some pressure on the Virginia Tech shot putters. I don't know, Matug, what a meet she had. Anchored the winning DMR, right? Made, made what, she was maybe third in the 800, and then uh, third or fourth in the 800, and then just got second in the 3,000. Wow. Nine of 245.9 for the last kilometer. Tui also set a meet record and a facility record. There's Caitlin Tui. Going over to see her teammates like you'd expect. That's usually one of the first things she does after she has to wait a little for them to get across the line. She goes right to him. Here's when she takes a lead for the first time moments ago, and then she never looks back. If you see Matug at that point is in about sixth. 
And we didn't really see her close because we're all enamored with Caitlin Tui, as we should be. You see, she didn't even sprint across the finish. She just kind of eased in. Huge margin of victory for Tui. Matug of Duke ends up with the silver, and then Olivia Markazic of Notre Dame. She's had a really productive three days here in Louisville, a 9.01.82 for the runner for Notre Dame. Caitlin Tui, another ACC title. She's with Haley. Thanks, John. Caitlin, great race out there. You got a standing ovation from the entire crowd. Wow. I mean, you look so comfortable in the beginning of the race before you ran away with it. What kind of training goes into being so dominant? Yeah, I mean, NC State alone, you know, back-to-back cross-country championships. So we've kind of developed a little bit of a powerhouse over the past few years. And I think just working with, you know, the best in the country. I mean, you heard the announcer, announcer say, like, beforehand, like, Sam Bush has one of the top times in the country, Sydney Seymour in the 5K. So, you know, we have really good girls. So I think it just makes practice a lot easier being able to train with the best. No doubt you set the record in this event as well as the mile in just this season. You're just a sophomore as well. What's next on the checklist for you? Um, yeah, I mean, we had this championship and then we're looking to the indoor championships in two weeks time. So just getting ready for that with the girls and I uh, haven't decided what I'm going to compete in yet, but whatever it is, we'll, we'll train for that the next two weeks. I can't wait to find out. Congratulations, Kayla. Thank you. Sean. The women.